All right, YouTube, I'm out here at uh, Copper Ranch. This is the landings, and uh, a lot of people really don't know where to get started, especially if they're trying to buy a new home. So we're gonna keep putting out these new homes. And, uh, you know, a lot of people go online, they got a lot of research, but I try to go into more details of uh, what's happening out here in Las Vegas. People are still buying. They're just not buying as frequent, uh, slowing down, but prices and price stability is still there. People are still buying homes. In certain pockets out here, it's actually slowed down and we've seen price reductions. The property we're gonna look at right now is 1849. And uh, this one has a one story, it's a one story home. All these are one story homes. There's gonna be some more one story home lots available. With that, there's gonna be a 12,000 to a $72,000 lot premium. So you have to, base, that's gonna be based upon elevation, lot size, and other factors. So there's a lot less properties to choose from. We know that one story homes are a lot more desirable here in Las Vegas. And uh, so I'm going to go right into this and say it's a one story home, three bedrooms, two and a half to three bath, two car garage. Depending on elevation, it's really going to determine your, your, your price. Now, how somebody chooses that elevation and the truss of the, if you look at the roof and the layout of these houses, this is the more traditional layout. Uh, this is how people are going to determine elevation. And uh, so you're looking at three different styles. This one is just, it doesn't have the additional peak like the other one we saw did over there recently. This one's a little bit different, a little bit flatter, but that's gonna determine what your cost is. Option A is 515,990. Option B is 519,090 dollars. And then 517,690 for option E. Now, that's just your base price. You have to tack on additional costs, like uh, maybe you have a 10 to 15% upgrades. A lot of what you see in these homes is not gonna come looking like this home. They do have some spec homes, okay? Spec homes are ready to move in. You really can't do much to a spec home, though. You can't really design it completely how you want it, right? So there's a lot of people out there that are looking for spec homes, move-in ready homes. So like if you're an investor out there, looking for these move-in move ready homes that you're buying, hey, we can, we can get you set up today. You can just give me a call, we'll make it happen. All those cash buyers, I have people calling me now for cash and they're looking for deals and they're looking for opportunity. This could be your opportunity. So I think with a lot of people, they just don't know uh, what to get into or how to get started, like I said. So let's go ahead and take a look at this house. Hopefully you guys like the tour. I'm gonna continue to put out information LV Crib Tours, like I said, subscribe to my channel here. Also, if you have any comments, leave, uh, leave them in the comment section. Also, you can directly call me. Just say, hey, I, got, I have some questions on some of the videos you put out. Uh, is this property available? What's involved? We'll get you set up. We'll get everything going with the builder and get this going. Please hit the notification bell and hit that thumbs up for my properties. That way, when you hit the notification, you guys will know when I'm putting out another video. You guys can jump on and see if you have any questions about that one as well. So let's go ahead and look at this property. Let's get right into it. Thank you guys, we'll see you. This has a long walkway into the house and uh, it's right off the street. So you can see right here, I mean, right here, right there is Rainbow. And that is a very popular street out here in Las Vegas. So let's go in, go in here. This is about a nine foot door we're walking into. I really like those big doors. You know, they really a lot of height on these doors. So walking in, Let's talk a little bit about what these houses have to offer. The flooring, you know, this is wood. This is vinyl wood flooring. The other one was ceramic tile that looked like wood, but it was actually tile. Um, so we'll take a look at this house. This is a little bit different. 
you have like a divider right here in between the dining area into the living room. This is a nice open floor plan as well. And um, it's really different. I think the layout on this one is a little different than others that I've seen, which is great. I like, I like to not always see the same style, the same thought process. Here you have your first uh, closet. Hey, that's the same jacket that was the other one. One was brown, one was black. I think the same person owns both of these houses. This is a joke. Garage is locked. Here you go. So standard faucet, and this is just a single, and then you have the same style. This looks like a quartz countertop. So again, you have your standard enclosure, and this one is a little bit less upgraded. It looks like you have just your standard shower head and faucet that would come with it if you didn't have an upgrade here. So, but you have the uh, vinyl wood flooring and then you have your standard toilet. Coming over here, you have your first bedroom. And we're at nine foot ceilings here, folks. Nine foot ceilings. Depending on your uh, window, how you want it set up and your elevation is gonna determine what options you can get for your windows. It's always brought up. Um, here, let's take a look in here. This looks like just a door closet. Oh, this is actually a, a walk-in closet here. Okay, so cool. That's just a walk-in closet. And then let's take a look at this walk-in closet one more time here. So this is just your standard walk-in closet here. And uh, same jacket. Wow. Looks like they have some uh, wall decor right there on, on the, looks like wallpaper. So that's very nice. Let's head back out into the living area and over here we're going to go over to the second room linen's closet i'm going to say that first room was about 10 by 10 this one's the same except it has a bigger it doesn't have a bigger closet but it's a, i would say this one's a little bit bigger it's maybe 10 by 12 it's longer the way they have it set up now the the bigger ceilings the higher ceilings is an upgrade. The standard is eight feet, but this one is showing at nine feet. This is a one-story home over here. It reserves copper rents. This is your standard closet. That was different. Then you have another bathroom over here. So this is just your standard, no shower, but it, all the hardware is, is just basic in this house. Another linen's closet. So now we'll walk into the dining area. So this is considered your dining area. And that's the living room. So you got your eight by eight sliding glass door and then the kitchen. Kitchen's amazing, uh, really nice. No hardware, this one's toned down a little bit, folks. There's not as many upgrades, there's no backsplash. Uh, granite countertop, you're gonna have three options for granite that comes standard. This may be an upgrade to you, what you need on this house because this, it's usually white. In, in this one, it's white dark and then almost like a beige or a brownish uh, light tan so this may be an upgrade for the cost that you're looking at on this house um, no hardware like I said on the cabinets and again it's just your standard I, I don't like the color of these cabinets I'm gonna go dark or I'm gonna go white so it's nice it just doesn't pop to me but I think you have a lot of area for prep people love the extended um, I wouldn't say it's extended, but just the countertops, the long countertops. And then you have your Whirlpool appliances. You have your two year uh, warranty on that. And then the first year as we talk about is gonna be your, they say bumper to bumper. It's kind of the terminology that everybody uses in the real estate world that says everything's gonna be taken care of. So, but a standard sink, standard uh, faucet head. A lot of area here, I like that. I really do. And um, you come over here and this is your washer dryer hookup. So that's gonna be your standard hookup. Again, no shelving, no sink, no countertop, just the standard, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. This has French doors, but it's not the walk-in closet. The other one wasn't a huge walk-in closet, but this is your pantry. So nothing wrong with this pantry, it's great. But I, I really like a nice deep walk-in pantry for me. Um, here you go. I mean, this is your living area, not a big living room, but I mean, you're, you know, with this, we're going to have all of the square footage and also everything else included in this house. This is a one story home, but it's a nice home. I mean, it's taking a look at it from this direction. 
I guess four and a half inch baseboards in this house. Your standard is three and a half. The, the door casings are two and a half inch where there's gonna be an upgrade for that. So those things do cost. One thing, one thing I like about the island kitchen is that it does, it's really spacious, right? You have a lot of space there. It's spacious for three people that if you're a bigger person, you're not gonna be bumping into people too much. So, um, but I do like the island kitchen a little bit better on this one than I did the other house. It seems, it feels a little bigger to me. The kitchen is, is the same, it's open the same, but I don't know, to me, this is just a little different layout. I do like the layout. So coming out here, let's see if we can get out here. Let us out. Oh, we got out, yes. Okay, so you have your uh, patio cover. That's gonna be an upgrade. Usually it's five to 10. You can, you can always ask for that. This is not a spec home. If it's a spec home, or, it would come with a house. But again, this layout and how they've done the brick, it's very similar to the other house we just saw. And, um, you know, that was the, 1909 this is the 1849 this is the model 1849 the 1909 looks very similar a little different though a little different layout but you're gonna have your tankless water heater you're gonna have all the setup your pavers but this landscaping you see out there is not the landscaping as we always talked about it's professionally done by kb and their homes and their landscapers Coming into the owner suite, you've got the 20 by 20. You got the wall decor. That's a wallpaper over there. Um, offsets it. I like it. And over here is your walk-in closet. Not a huge walk-in closet. You know, a lot of people want to seal the deal on that. If you got a good kitchen and a nice walk-in closet, not a huge walk-in closet. Unless they have another walk-in closet where I don't see it. It's not a big walk-in closet. Now here's 20 by 20. And then you got a tub in this one. Now, if for me, I would rather have the ultra shower than the tub. Now you ask my girl a different, you know, do you want the tub or the ultra shower? She's gonna say the tub. So I like the setup. This is the standard hardware, standard cabinets, you know, the quartz countertop. You got your 42 inch tub and then your uh, vinyl wood flooring. Shower enclosure is an upgrade that's consistent with what we see on the uh, countertop over here and then you got your just your single toilet oh we found it okay i was a little worried so we have a his and a hers or a his and a his and a her and a her whatever you guys want to do but this one over here is off it's completely separate so nice i love it i like that and i'm going to tell you love being in a relationship but you want to have some things of your own now one of those things is a walk-in closet. I can do what I want in here. I'm not bumping into my girl or whoever it is that you guys have. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a nice, nice setup. So if you guys, that's it. If you guys have any questions on this house, I'm gonna have all the comments in the comment section. It's gonna be great. Okay, let's get started on this. Uh, love the house, not in love with it. This house had a lot of uh, options for upgrade. I think this is a lot of the standard you see. It did have the baseboards, it did have some of the other things that was consistent with the other house, but not much hardware, uh, very standard on that. And then you're always gonna have, for this property and these properties, especially over here at KB Homes at Copper Ranch, they're gonna give you three options for countertop, which is usually a light, like a white, a dark, and then like a tan. And then you also have two options for quartz, which is almost like a beige and a white. So those are your options. Um, but you're always gonna have the ability to upgrade. It's usually about 10 to 15%. Like I said, a lot of these properties are ready to move in, not here, but in Vegas, you have a lot of new homes ready to move in and ready to get started uh, right away where people maybe have been in the house or they're not selling. I was just at a property where it was a move-in ready home reduced by 25,000 and they're giving incentives. And so there's a lot of things happening here. This, these, this property, this facility itself is, is relatively new. Uh, we do have people from talking with these reps that they're coming in and they're buying these houses with the lot premium. And it's still, it's not flying off the shelves like it was before. You don't have lotteries and things like that. We do see softening in the market, but people are still buying and price stability is sustaining itself. So if you guys have any questions on this house, I'm gonna have all the comments in the comment section at uh, at the end when I put this in here in this video. And also too, we're gonna have links 
I'm gonna have a link to open houses. Uh, that's for that upcoming week. I'm gonna have links to uh, anything that is maybe price reduced, any uh, open houses that, I mean, not open houses, but move in ready homes. And uh, we're gonna have a lot of this data and information for you guys to go out and look at these properties. So I highly suggest clicking on those links below. And uh, again, we're gonna have a lot of information that's being put out. Hopefully you guys like this information I'm providing. Like the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell. So every time you guys see that if I'm putting a video out, I'm putting some type of content out, you guys can uh, tune in and, and check it out. So Dan French, LV Cryptors, I'd love to earn your business. I'll see you guys at the next one.